Hey guys, it's Alicia, and today I'm going to show you how to translate a website. There are plenty of resources for translating websites, whether you need to translate a site that you're browsing or make your site accessible to non-English speakers, you can use a few essential tools to accomplish your goals. In this video, we'll look at several ways to translate a website using different browsers and devices. But before we get too far, I want to let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. So let's get to work. Translating a website using Google Chrome is pretty straightforward. When you land on a page that isn't in English, click on the Translate This Page button in the address bar to open a pop-up. Then select the option for English. If you prefer, you can right-click the text you'd like to translate and choose Translate to English. That's all you need to do. You can repeat either of these methods as you navigate through the website. Unlike Chrome, Firefox doesn't have a built-in translation feature. To translate websites using Firefox, you'll need to get started by adding a Firefox language extension. Mozilla recommends the To Google Translate extension. Click on the Add to Firefox button to install the extension. Next, you'll see the Options screen where you can select specific languages. If you need to translate different languages, you can leave the Translate Text field set to Auto. When you've set your preferences, click on Save. The next time you visit a site in a foreign language, you should be able to right-click on the text and choose Translate This Page. The text should open in Google Translate, ready for you to read in your preferred language. Safari's translation feature is in beta, and it doesn't have as many languages available as other browsers. However, you should still be able to translate many of the web pages you encounter. If Safari can translate a web page for you, it will display a Translate button in the Smart Search field. Since this feature is still in beta, you can use this same translation menu to report issues choose to Apple. You can translate a page in Microsoft Edge using Translate for Microsoft Edge, which comes installed in the browser. Similar to Chrome, the browser should present you with a prompt when you open a page. The address bar will briefly show the word translated when the process is ready. If you would like Edge to generate a translation each time you encounter this language automatically, you can check the Always Translate pages from the box. If the pop-up doesn't appear, you can also click on the Translate icon in the address bar. Clicking this icon will additionally give you the option to translate pages in this language automatically. You can repeat the same process when encountering sites in other languages. If you'd like to translate an entire website at once, you can use Google Translate. Type the URL of the website you'd like translated into the text box on the left. You should see a clickable version of the URL appear in the correct text box. Select the target language from above the text box on the right. Once you click on the link, you should see a fully translated version of the website. You can toggle between the translated and original versions using the button at the top right. You can also swap between languages using this toolbar. As you can see, translating an entire website can be a quick and easy process. If you frequently find yourself on websites in foreign languages, you might want Chrome to translate them automatically. You can enable this feature by clicking on the three dots at the top right of the browser window and choosing Settings. From here, you can navigate to Advanced, and then Languages. You may need to click the arrow to the right of Language to see all of the options. There are two ways to set up automatic translations. If you turn on the Offer to Translate Pages that Aren't in a Language You Read option, you'll see a pop-up offering a translation whenever you visit a page that isn't in your defined language. If there are languages other than English that you'd prefer not to have translated, you can add those here. To do this, select Add Languages, Scroll to or search for the desired language and tick the box next to it. Click on the Save button after choosing your target languages. When you navigate to a website in any of your listed languages, you won't get the translation pop-up on your screen. Translating a website on a mobile device using Chrome is different from the procedure for desktop devices. Instead of a pop-up, you'll see a bar at the bottom of the screen with your language options. Once you select English, you should be able to read the text. If you don't see this bar, you can also click on the three dots at the top right of the screen to open a menu. Then select Translate, and you should be able to view the text in English. Next, let's look at how to translate a site on an iPhone using Safari. When you visit a page in a foreign language, you can click on the A drop-down button in the address bar to open a menu. 
There, you should see the Translate to English option. If this is the first time you've performed this action, you may receive a prompt asking you to enable the beta. Also, keep in mind that the number of languages Safari can translate from is somewhat limited compared to other browsers. If you'd like to make your website multilingual, there are multiple options for accomplishing this task. Of course, one easy way is to outsource the job. However, this method can be costly if you hire a professional translator. On the other hand, Polylang is a free WordPress plugin you can use to translate your site. Not only can you add translations for posts and pages, but you can also create different versions of your menus and categories. If you'd like a faster method and don't mind paying for the service, you could try the Weglot plugin. This tool automatically detects and translates your content. However, you will have to pay by the month to use the plugin. If you're a Kinsta customer, you'll want to take advantage of our IP geolocation functionality. This feature can automatically detect the geographical location of a user based on their IP address. Thanks to this tool, you can automatically customize the content visitors see based on where they are, including the language. Do you have any questions about how to translate a website? Let us know in the comments section. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%, and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.